I'm Jay Horton. I make movies that make money. This is how. Today, I'm going to break down my patented four-tier organic grassroots marketing plan for independent films. These are the steps that I take in the first 90 days on each and every movie that I put out. Well, for the most part. And these have led me to solid earnings. These first 90 days are crucial to a film's longevity. And this is where we're mostly going to concentrate. Number one, direct sales. Direct sales, if done right, this is where filmmakers can get a great initial push on their release because the people that you're marketing to are already a part of your tribe. The first part of this is email marketing. Now, I did a whole other video on this that you can find here that goes a little deeper into specifics. You'll need to sort your email contacts into three tiers. One, family and close friends. Two, acquaintances. Three, business contacts. Four, do not contacts. Once a month, for the first three months, email all of your contacts. Now, separate them by group. Start on the day your movie is released, unless it's a holiday. Then do Monday or Wednesday. Now, there's different data I've read on this, but in general, they say emails should go out around 8 a.m. That way, you're hitting basic morning traffic on both coasts. The first one is your main announcement email. In this, you talk about the movie's release, where to find it, how excited you are. Your call to action should be to check out the movie and leave a fair review, either on IMDb, Rotten Tomatoes, or Amazon, if that's where you're landing. I used to push people more towards Amazon, but these days I go a little more for IMDb here. It's a little more universal. I mean, a high rating on Amazon isn't really going to help you on other platforms, like Tubi. You can also include a secondary call to action, like following you or the movie on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, wherever you think you'll get the most traction with that particular person. Mention that you're trying to reach 100 reviews or ratings in the first 60 days. That's your first goal. What you're trying to accomplish here is to raise the queue of your film and to build it up in IMDb's algorithm with as many fair reviews and ratings as you can get. For your second email, Stress urgency. Update your goal if you passed it in month one. If you didn't, reiterate how important it is that you reach it. As a secondary call to action, include whatever social media platform link that you're struggling with the most. So for the third month email, you once again give them an update, let them know what's going on with the movie, and let them know that this is their last chance to help you to give your film that initial boost. After the first three months, just update the status of the film and include any new information that you think they need to know on a monthly basis. But if you don't really have any new info to provide, don't send out anything new. Now, in the first 90 days, do follow-up emails to your family close friend group every other week. Make sure that all of these are personalized. That's five total emails over the course of the 90-day campaign. And try and keep track of the people who have responded and maybe take them off the update list. These follow-up emails should differ from your initial emails. Start with your secondary call to action, then mention the primary. Include any new platforms you may be on. Thank those that have already reviewed and followed. And be genuine. Then send follow-up emails to business and acquaintance contacts two times. Once at the three-week point, once at the six week point. These should be basically reminders, up the urgency, give them new information. And if you're anything like me, this group is mostly going to be business contacts. So maybe open this one up with something about the business side, what platforms you're on, uh, your sales projections, marketing plans for the movie, stuff like that. Now, another crucial step in the first 30 days is very direct sales. I'm talking DMs, phone, and text messages. Call, text, or message directly every close friend and family member that you know. Yes, there will be overlap with the emails, so you can stagger this. You can push this a day or two into your campaign. That way it acts as kind of a follow-up to the email. Facebook DMs are okay too, but never do these in mass. Send individualized messages. Same for your texts. No mass messages. 
ask them directly to check out the movie and express the importance of reviews. Personalization is key. Now, some filmmakers won't agree with this one, but I say do not ask cast or crew to do reviews directly, but do ask them to enlist their friends and family. I probably should have led with this, but if you can find a few other close friends or crew members to do the same direct sales steps I mentioned above, it'll exponentially increase your reach. Try to pick people that don't have so many mutual friends. Old college and high school friends living in other states make great team members, if you can swing it. If you can build a four to six person team targeting all of their business and personal contacts, you should do very well in your first month. You'll find as far as sales go, this is where you'll have your biggest number of conversions. So don't skimp on direct sales. Two, finding your target audience. Ideally, this should be started 30 to 90 days prior to your release. You need to know your target audience. You need to know their age range, gender, locations, interests. Okay, so how do you do this? Think about your movie, the genre, who it might appeal to. Find relevant groups on Facebook and Reddit. Join them. Follow relevant hashtags in Instagram and Twitter and start engaging with them right away. And to start with, don't do any self-promotion. Just reply to comments, make posts, ask questions, share other relevant articles and videos. But most importantly, read and really take in what's going on in those groups. Figure out the group dynamic and what types of posts get more interaction there. Remember, interaction is key. If you do have some marketing budget, do test Facebook or Google ads, one to two dollars a day. Test videos, pictures, text ads. Find the type of ads that work best for you. And when you launch, sink a bit more into those types of ads, if you can. And the analytics from all these ads across all the platforms will help you further narrow down your target audience. If you don't have a Google business account, get one. They're free with Gmail and they help a lot with Google SEO. You can post pictures, trailers, posters of your movie, all with links to the different platforms that it's available on. And I also highly recommend doing some short video ads on Pinterest. The videos there should be five to 30 seconds at the longest. I've had great results with this. My page over there now is getting like 250,000 views a month. Once you have your audience identified and know where to reach them, you're ready to start your social media onslaught. Three, social media posting. Keep this rule of thumb in mind. Three regular posts to every one self-promotional post. There are experts out there that have different ratios for different platforms. And if you want to go dig a little bit deeper and look those up, go for it. For example, on Facebook, I don't like to do any more than two self-promotional posts in a day on my main wall. Using the ratio above, that would basically make eight separate Facebook posts a day, which is a lot for Facebook in my opinion. I think that one self-promotional post on Facebook a day is good. Another trick is to make use of your stories because they disappear after 24 hours. It doesn't clutter your main wall up. Twitter is a little more forgiving of multiple posts. Two or three self-promotional posts a day doesn't seem so bad there. I've found that the three to one ratio is a pretty good rule of thumb regardless of the platform. So you're gonna be posting on places like Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn at least four times a day. If you're not good with social media or feel awkward about this, start now and get used to it. If your movie isn't out yet, practice by promoting someone else's work. Another thing you should do prior to your release and throughout the 90 days is to build out your connections. Follow five new people a day on Twitter, five new friends on Facebook, follow five new folks on Instagram, request five new people on LinkedIn, follow five new people on Pinterest. The trick here is to not just follow randos, but people that are firmly in your target audience. Maybe people in groups that have responded to comments or admins of those groups. This is why I limited it to five. So you're not just adding empty follows, but are engaging with real people. 
And one last thing about social media posting, it's a two-way street. If you look at it and attack it selfishly, you'll get little back. Support others like you want them to support you. Retweet and share other indie artists' movies, books, and art at least once a day. Engage and comment on other artists' posts. This is a good habit to get into anyway, even if you have nothing to promote. Let's talk for a quick second about what to post. Of course, you'll want to share a link to your IMDb or Amazon or Tubi, wherever your movie is, but you don't want to just do that over and over. In fact, sometimes you'll find you'll get more reach and brand awareness by not posting the link at all on some posts. Facebook, for example, is said not to give as much reach to posts that have links in them. One way around this is to post the link in the comments. Now, I'm not 100% this is true, so I just mix it up anyway. If I've posted the link two times in a row, my third post will have no link at all. Maybe just mention where you can find it, because it also helps you on different platforms algorithms to have people searching for your movie. Oh, and here's something important. You'll need more material to post than just a couple of posters and a trailer. So create a bunch of extra material to share. This is what I do. I make 12 to 20, 30 to 45 second teaser clips from the movie directly. And then you'll use these short videos on appropriate platforms like Instagram, where you can upload video content that's more than 60 seconds without going Instagram TV you know, or Twitter where it's 45 seconds. Um, you can also use these on your Facebook page. Uh, another great place for them is Pinterest. Oh yeah, and you should have a Facebook page, either for the movie individually or just a business page for your production company if you're doing multiple projects. Post one video at a time, every other day or so, and stagger your platforms. Reddit and Facebook one day, Twitter and Instagram another day, on Pinterest, post in groups of five and do it once or twice a week. Then create 10 short behind the scenes clips, interviews with you or the cast, about 60 seconds max, 45 seconds is ideal. That way you can use the same videos on both Instagram and Twitter. Then create six to eight longer clips from the movie, three to five minutes a piece. Use these on YouTube only. Post on YouTube once a week and do your SEO homework, descriptions, and tags. Every time one of these publishes, share it across all your social media platforms and cherry-picked Facebook groups and subreddits. One quick word on sharing and posting in groups, have a written-out schedule and don't post a self-promotional post in the same group more than once a week. And it's a good idea to have at least one regular post buffering that and your next self-promotional post. And you should create a bunch of new still images and or art with overlays. Get creative, make some memes from the stills. Do the same with any BTS photos that you might have. You can never have too much material. I aim to have at least one new image to share daily for the first 90 days. Another thing you can do to boost your reviews is create an online review party event on Facebook. You can invite up to 500 friends and choose them wisely. Try not to overlap too heavily with your email contacts or family and friends. You're trying to reach people you might not be able to otherwise. Do not send invites by messenger. And if you've never done events before, invite no more than 10 people a day to the event to start. It'll keep you from being marked as a spammer. Once the event is launched, Post one daily reminder in that event for the duration of the entire event, and use that as an opportunity to give secondary calls to action, groups. And I'm mostly talking about Facebook here, but this also applies to Reddit. Word of warning on Reddit, by the way. Really check out the subreddit before posting. Many groups on Reddit will ban you pretty much instantly for blatant spam. See what types of posts others are doing before jumping in. Okay, back to Facebook. Find relevant groups and use a one-to-one -one ratio. So you'll be posting two times a week in every group as noted above. Pay attention to where and how you get engagement here. 
if after three weeks you're getting zero engagement in a certain group, either completely change your posting style or delete that group. Don't waste time posting somewhere you get no engagement. Also, respond to the comments. Always be polite and thankful. Don't negatively engage in criticism. If someone gets critical, just thank them for their feedback. If it's an awful like troll-like post, just ignore it. But you have to remove your ego from the equation. The goal here is to get engagement, not to prove a point or be right. Bonus, respond to reviews on Amazon. Again, it's all about engagement. So I say respond to the reviews. Again, always be polite. If the review is super negative, just say, you're sorry they didn't like the movie, but you appreciate them taking the time to watch and leave their valuable feedback. Don't defend the movie or deflect. Again, this isn't about you. It's just about engagement. Number four, get media reviews. Find previously released movies in your genre that are close to your budget level. Look them up on IMDb and look for the external reviews. Click on those reviews and then reach out to those outlets to see if they want to review your film. Have an online screener at the ready if they're interested. You should start this no sooner than 60 days prior to your release and ask them to hold the review until the release date. You do not want reviews getting out too far in advance of your release. You'll waste the momentum that they create. Oh, one thing I forgot. Um, you should also send out a press release once a month for the first 90 days. There are plenty of services out there that will submit your press releases to multiple platforms. Just Google them out. So that's my four tier plan. And I've written out all of these steps and posted them on my Patreon. Once you remember, you can copy them from there. If you want to make more money with your indie films, subscribe now. But whatever you do, keep making movies.